Yeah, I can start it there. Now, as much as I love In Soul as a list, it's actually a very diverse deck with plenty of ways to play it. There's token, there's control, there's is it creature aggro, which is what we might be playing today. And I kind of want to get good at all of them to kind of just really get my grounds on In Soul as an archetype. Because it really is an archetype at the end of the day. A lot of decks have set in stone lists that you have to go by. That's the optimal way to play it. And Soul has always seemed to be one of those decks that nobody can solve. And that makes it so cool. And I love it. And I'm really excited to be playing this one today, especially. Because this one is the one I'm working on next in person. I have, can't see it, but this is the deck that's waiting for some cards from Karlov Manor. Actually, really crazy stuff coming out, like uh, Glimmering Gear Drake, Case of the Fetched Finch. Plenty of good stuff for Is It in Soul. Azorius will touch at some point. If anything, we'll get my roommate in here to do that because he's the Azorius in Soul player. I am not. I am a fiery, intelligent boy. <coughs> so I thought I was going to burp, but it was a cough. No, I just play Is It because that is my comfort zone. So the list today is more creature focused. We're playing artifact creatures, ways to use the artifact creatures, buff them, really just make sure that we are dealing combat damage more than anything. We still have Shrapnel Blast. Shrapnel Blast is a staple. We're not gonna have any of those classic token makers other than Voldaren Epicure. We have three of just to kind of keep our card advantage there because card advantage is still nice. The list, four Silver Raven, two Built a Smoosh, three Touch the Tower, three Voldaren Pedicure, one Yummy Virtue, Three Ginger Brute, one different art Ginger Brute, four Safety Scissor, three Surge Engine, what's this weird thing? Four Shrapnel Blast, three Tummy Battle Rage, four Patchwork Automaton, three Zoetic Glyph, two Phyrexian Dragon Engine, because Double Strike is kind of crazy when you have in Soul. And then the, the other lands, the, we kept the same land base from the previous in Soul deck. Let's just get into the game. I've been rambling because I've been nervous to play this because I just want to be good. I just want to be good with this deck, but I do not have a great track record with the creature version. <laughs> All right, round one, is it creature aggro is what we're playing? Is it in soul, but with creatures instead of tokens and other stuff? There's so many is it in soul decks. There's a lot of different types of in soul decks. Ooh, Surge Engine, Ginger Brute, Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Pretty run of the mill, really cool hand, actually. We'll keep because Silver Raven is basically another land in our hand, in my brain. So we're gonna pretend. Ooh. Anna built to smash. Can we? Yeah, obviously play Spider Bluff Canal first. Always should be the first land you play out. Keep that on top. Let's hope they don't mill us. That'd be nice. Are they on Is It Phoenix? So they are. Okay. So uh, let's be a little, little conservative with how we're about to do this. Because I think they're gonna shock something, if anything. And then we can just built to smash on it. Is if they're trying to get fancy with it. Hmm, okay, that's fine. Guess we can save the built to smash then to give something trample later on. Really? Or burn. It's really good if they try and burn something here. Oh, that was so good actually. Yee. Look at that. They thought. Fiery Impulse doesn't do anything. <laughs> Three out of two? Oh, Spell Mastery, right. I just forget what that spell means. Sleight of Hand, again, okay. Sleight of Hand is good, Sleight of Hand is good. We get to play Phyrexian Dragon Engine next turn, and then Zoetic Glyph it. Or, I think just a surplus of stuff to deal with might be better against Phoenix, because they only have like single target removal. They don't have a board wipe in their main board, at least, I don't think so. So let's just kind of choke the board a bit. Is it charm? Okay. Good thing we didn't play out a Phyrexian Dragon Engine because that's the big hitter of the deck. That's what we really want to land. And I really, believe me, I want it to land. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right, Spike Field Hazard. It might, if they, okay. They're kind of putting themselves in a position here where they won't be able to tap this for... They won't be able to cast two red spells in a turn unless they want to go down to one life, and I don't think they want to, so... Sure, yeah. Uh, very good for us. And yeah, we got Teamer Battle Rage. That'll be nice later. Not that they're gonna, like, live to that point, but... 
you know, it's cool. All you have to do is hit a 1-1, one, one, and Teamer Battle Rage is lethal. I swear they're on Phoenix. We haven't seen a single Phoenix yet, but I have a feeling. I have a Phoenix. Uh, uh, return it to my hand, please, actually. Okay. And now go down to one. Go down to one. Be very funny if you did. Please. Okay. Uh, Zoetic Glyph just has to hit a creature here and they're done for. If that was not the best creature to possibly hit, deal exactly one to them. We did it. Look, first win. First win. Next game. Next. Oh, uh, Voldaren Epicure, Turn 2, and Soul. Patchwork Automaton Surge Engine. Yeah, no, that looks like... <laughs> this looks like a keep. I would, uh... I'd mark this down as uh, we keep this. We definitely keep this. Alright, throw down our Spire Bluff Canal. Voldaren Epicure. Hopefully they're playing a red deck. If they're playing a red deck, this is gonna be a great matchup for us. If it's a black deck, we might have to play Darksteel Citadel and insult it. It automatically passed... Now, I hate cheesing, you know. I don't like to be this guy, but they don't have a removal spell because then it would have stayed on the stack there. But also they might have a spell pierce because they're blue-white, so actually let's just patchwork automaton here and like feel really secure. Because if we get in soul onto a patchwork automaton, it's over. From there, we are in a very good position. Okay, uh, can we draw another land so we can Buff our Phyrexian Dragon Engine into a 5-5, please? I'd like that. I'd like that a lot, actually, if that could happen. Let's not adjust. Okay. And... If they don't play anything this turn... Oh, okay. Lotus Field. Well, this will enter tapped. Uh, that sucks. But, what if instead we spread out our damage evenly? Okay, I, I really never trust the arena auto-tapping, so I'm gonna do it myself here. Yeah, let's just make an indestructible boy. Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> this looks like a good attack. Really? Really? Okay. And then we're gonna insole the Phyrexian Dragon Engine next turn? Surely they have a board wipe. Oh, it exiles, right? They have no idea just how dead they are. And that's good. My judgment is final. Hmm. You know what? You know what? This one, two, three, four. Okay, so Yeah, okay. Oh, we didn't get to do the double strike for Rexy and Dragon. I wanna do it so bad! <laughs> I I've been looking forward to this. I built the whole deck for this reason. I said, Gabe, do you know what I really want to do? I want to attack for 10 damage on turn 4. And in response, I was like, you know what? That sounds pretty cool. Let's just try that. Let's play that in Insoul of all things because you like playing Insoul as a deck. Little did I know that I would actually never get the chance to do it, so it was pointless. The Legion of Dusk is the military arm of Alta Torezon, the ecclesiastic kingdom of vampires on the continent of Tarzan. Tarzan? The Queen's Bay Company was... Created to liberate Ixalan of its resources. <laughs> but these vampires also feel the tugging of their progenitor god calling to them from beneath the it swapped egg. We'll never know the story of Ixalan now. Thank you, Arena. Is this a keepable hand? Eh. Yeah, it's, it's there. It has the spirit. We have no card advantage, but we have removal and a patchwork. You can only ask for so much. We're playing Is It Aggro? We got the is it, we got the ah, and the grow. Honestly, what do you want? Uh, Shiv and Reef. Play a mana dork. I double dog dare you. Come on, come on. Play something. Play a creature, you know you want to. This. Whenever one or more can put in a non hydra creature, put a surge counter. You know what? I don't think I care. <laughs> Especially if we draw Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Because then we get to Patchwork next turn, and then put Forge the Tower like that. We get to Sacrifice to Darksteel Citadel, if anything. So, I don't even know if I want to play Dragon Engine next turn. I think we're better off holding on to it. Okay. You know what? That's pretty good. And I assume they have no way of putting more counters on it if they're attacking for only two. Okay. 
Okay. Let's play another patchwork automaton. Very sweet. And uh, let's just swing in for two and see what happens. Really? Um. Yeah, end our turn. I think this is where we kill the Hydra. Okay. I don't know what they're doing. I know for a fact that I was about to start getting out of hand next turn, I feel. But, you know, we're, we're kind of leaps and bounds ahead on board state right now. Not leaps and bounds. We're like single bound. Oh, they're ramping. Oh, because they played their land for turn or... Oh, I guess so. Whenever you draw a card, put a plus one counter on it. Wow. So they're just on Simic plus one counters. That's kind of cool. That's neat. Um, How about we just make more plus one counters than you? Sweet. In the immortal words of the family guy, freaking sweet, Lois. There we go. Uh, attack in. Hit them for seven damage. Why not? Uh, Teamer Battle Rage is online now. Okay. This is whenever one or more put a tap target creature. Okay. <laughs> We're going to put our Insul artifact on Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Surprise, surprise. And we're just going to attack in with everything. Yay. They are so incredibly dead here. I think we just might use Teamer Battle Rage to just give that trample. Yeah, let's just do that. Well, I take one. Very cool. And they are out. Yep. Ooh, you get the shark to crab. Ooh, shark to crab. Well, our Phyrexian Dragon Engine is never untapping. And that sucks. Now it won't untap. Did we have fun? Uh, this feels like a lie. Yeah, we got to attack for Tay. Yeah, we had fun. You go first, Ginger Brute and Soul Shrapnel Blast. The classic. <laughs> In fact, Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Now, I only have two in the deck, so we've been quite consistent on that front. So, yay for us. Uh, Ginger Brute. Let's swing in. That one damage. Are they playing black? If so, we're kind of doomed. Oh, no. Uh, okay, let's just keep swinging in for one. Sweet. Frickin' sweet. Oh, you wanted to Fatal Push that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just fling that at the face. Cool, they're already down to 13. <laughs> Fantastic. What you gonna take? <laughs> this is not really a good hand of thought sees. There wasn't a lot there that could really be interacted with. Hopeless nightmares? Sure, let's put a Phyrexian Dragon Engine into our graveyard. More stuff later. Cool. Uh, yeah. I, I don't envision us really doing much past here. Was that all? Was that actually all? Was that all? We got to do the dragon engine stuff? Yeah! That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to swing for a clean 10 damage every round. Well, that, that game was much shorter than I anticipated. Video's over.